ACME currently manufactures and markets a drug approved by the regulatory authorities in the U.S. for the treatment of benign prostatic hypertrophy. Although the drug is very safe, an interesting but common, not harmful side effect of the drug is that it stimulates the growth of hair. The pharmaceutical company of the drug has now reached the stage in the development process where it would like to conduct a multi-center Phase 3B open-label trial of a test article for the new indication. ACME contacts Dr. Daniela Massaroni, a consultant dermatologist at a university hospital, to see if she would be the investigator for the trial. Dr. Massaroni reviews the trial protocol and examines information about its observed side effects and toxicity as well as the information from additional studies conducted for the new indication. Dr. Massaroni agrees to be an investigator for the sponsor and subsequently submits an application to the EC at the hospital where she works. A drug effective in the treatment of benign prostatic hypertrophy has been shown to have an interesting side effect. It seemingly stimulates the growth of hair. Dr. Daniela Massaroni, a consultant dermatologist, has agreed to be an investigator for a Phase 3B open-label trial of the drug for the new indication and has submitted an application to the institutional EC. The EC review mostly focused on the open-label design and it was promptly decided that a better trial design should be adopted, such as a randomized, blinded trial. The EC thus asked for a revised protocol. Note, an open-label trial is a type of clinical trial in which both the researchers and participants know which treatment is being administered. An open-label trial may be unavoidable under some circumstances, but in most cases a blinded design can be adopted, as in this scenario, and especially in a Phase 3 confirmatory trial. 